We all expected all that rain that we've been having would get rid of those pesky gypsy moths. You've probably seen them all over your yard, yeah. right? And the question is, did the rain help? News 8's Tina Detell takes a look. When we were here earlier this month, you could see lots of tiny little caterpillars on the property, many of them crawling right on the mailbox. And now they would be a lot bigger, but this family had ground spraying done. Still, the damage is done. That's why these tree crews are here. After three years of a gypsy moth infestation, Lorraine Healy wasn't taking any chances. She didn't wait to see if the May rains created the fungus that would kill the caterpillars, which had covered her property last year. She had it sprayed. I haven't really seen any gypsy moth caterpillars this year. Still, it's too late to save some of her trees. On our property, this is one right here. About a dozen leafless trees will have to come down. It seems like there's just about as many as there was last year. Over in the Oakdale section of Montville, Nancy Hubbard says young caterpillars can already be seen crawling on her recycle bins and benches. She believes the rains may have helped other areas not as heavily infested. This is all from them, all their droppings. She uses tape to try to keep them away from the perennial plants she sells from her Chesterfield Road home. A lot of times they just turn around and go back down. That controls them a little bit. Oh yeah, a little bit, but still there's droppings nonstop. We're going to have a second application because they um, hatch at different times, so we want to get them all. Others are now looking to do the same. It will attack the caterpillar at any life cycle, so it's not too late. The crews told the homeowner that when they took these trees down, there were still egg sacs on them, and that means there are a lot more caterpillars still to hatch. In Ledger, Tina Detell, News 8.